on the subject of, of appalling uh, failed US operations, we can talk about the aid pier. Yeah. So I have this uh, video of um, this is published by Breitbart. Uh, yeah. So, you know, people, are, I'm sure people are going to say, oh, well, it's Breitbart, so you can't really trust uh, yeah. trust what they're saying. But, I'm, you know, I'm sure large numbers of the U.S. military read Breitbart, and it was somebody, some source on the ground that sent this to them. This is video from the aid pier. Um, actually, there's, you know, a lot of, be, before this was deployed, you can find... Um, documents on the structure and like how much hope they really had that this would be viable um mm. there were a lot of people who in the pentagon who this uh peer or the style of peer i forget what the acronym is uh but it was their pet project it was kind of their baby mm. and they were like just waiting for their day in the in in the spotlight um and now it's come and we have uh exclusive from breitbart um apparently one uh soldier U.S. soldier is completely brain dead uh, because he was injured so badly oh, wow. on his pier. Um, I'm, I want to go through, I'm going to go yep. through the full yep. Breitbart please, please do, please do, please do. And, and guys, take this with a grain of salt. Obviously, it's Breitbart, so like they're going to... Um, Have a particular per- slant. Yeah, they're, they're, and their slant is going to be pro-U.S. troop and pro-Israel and anti-Palestinian. So just take it with a grain of salt. Um, but I, I the, the facts that they have from their sources, I see no reason to doubt those. So the core of the article, I think, is is valid. Uh, The Biden administration has publicly praised American troops who are part of the risky mission to deliver aid to Gaza via a temporary pier, but behind the scenes, sources tell Breitbart News that the troops' safety is being endangered for a photo op. There are approximately 1,000 troops who are part of the novel operation. Uh, The pier went operational on May 17th, but eight days later on May 25th, it broke apart due to heavy seas and had to be dismantled from the coast and repaired. It was reattached just last week. Um, going down more, despite this, the Biden administration has insisted that the pier operation has been a success. They have a quote from a State Department official. Uh, but sources say behind the scenes, troops' lives are being put at risk, sometimes for literal photo ops. One U.S. source involved in the mission said the pier was targeted daily. They have absolutely had gunfire and mortars. It's been day and night nonstop, the source said. Indeed, due to the lack, due to the risk of sniper fire, troops are ordered to wear tactical vests as far as five nautical miles out from the coast, and aid has to be rushed off the boats onto the temporary pier due to, quote, constant attempts to attack the pier. Yet minutes after the first boat filled with aid hit the pier, troops were ordered to roll up plastic covers on the trucks so that the aid could be photographed, the sources said. Troops were also ordered to wash the aid trucks and sweep flour off of them so that they would look good in photos. The source said this happened twice, once for the first delivery of the operation and again recently after the pier was reattached. Uh, The Biden administration has boasted about the amount of aid moved from the pier, a little more than 2,000 metric tons to date, or approximately 4.6 million pounds. But sources say moving that amount of aid has taken its toll on troops. Now we're going to go into the work hours. I would add that uh, it appears that none of this aid has been distributed. Um, That's that's via the Washington Post last week. Mm. Um, It's been moved to, uh, because it's to be distributed by the World Central Kitchen, which is Jose Andre's uh, CIA yeah. operation. Yeah. Um, you saw them after uh, January six, yeah. uh, handing out aid. Um. Yeah, but, it's just, but this is the thing: is that I like even, yes, it, it is published by Breitbart, which is yeah. has a history of of publishing false information. Um, I can totally believe this though, because oh, yeah. this is this is the, 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 this this is something really important to bear in mind, which is in the spirit of empire of illusion and, mm-hmm. and like the actual reality not mattering. The U.S. is committed to the propaganda strategy of convincing people that they oppose what's happening. Yeah, and it's like th- there was this absolutely astonishing uh, example of like Orwellian verbal gymnasm in yeah. um when the the hostage rescue operation which killed like over like, like almost like 300 palestinians left countless others injured and to rescue four people yeah and ended up killing three hostages in the process but all that was hamas's fault so uh just I, I, it, it was cheered throughout the me- i mean in, in, there were all, all sorts of mawkish human interest rubbish about like oh this this person has been reunited with their parents and mm-hmm. blah blah and like you know the, the, all this biographical information on these hostages 
um, the, 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 like out of this a deluge, there was a report by the New York Times that the Brit Britain and America were involved in the in the rescue operation and how they have had there have been British and American intelligence specialists based in Tel Aviv who are directing host quote unquote hostage rescue efforts mm -hmm. and it was cheering the fact that they'd done this and and it stated the reason the only reason that the US is is helping in this way selflessly of course is because they feel that they believe that the war will end sooner and the bloodshed will be less if the hostages return quicker mm -hmm. which is complete and utter nonsense but it's like it, it on top of basically whitewashing direct u.s involvement in the in the genocide um it all i think it also the purpose of this story was to like normalize direct british and american involvement mm -hmm. in 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 gaza and 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 doing so under this again very orwellian kind of double speak of well it's good that we're involved in the genocide because it's about saving lives yeah like and and i think that right. the, the, that we we are likely you know it's it, 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 yeah that it, it, it we are likely to see because i think that they are very much committed to this carrying on to the very end i mean although the end could be world war three or like nuclear holocaust but they the, 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 they want to try and if not erase then alleviate the stain on israel mm -hmm. and the st uh, uh, and the, and the implications of being directly implicated in, in genocide right. and so and i think that particularly given that there have been reports in the past past few days of like a large number of israeli occupation force soldiers um uh, uh getting killed yeah um it, and the, 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 despite this, the, 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 I mean, this is this is while battling teenagers in knockoff Adidas, mm -hmm. um, and they want a formal war with Hezbollah as well. Yeah. And it's like in that context, they're not going to be the Israeli occupation forces are not going to be able to do this themselves. No. So they're going to re re rely on formal British and American assistance. So you need to lay the foundations for that now. Right. And I think that that the, 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 just to just to tie this up the the hostage rescue operation was clearly a bid for international pr and it it worked from the perspective of the entire media was like cheering this mm -hmm. right yeah. and, and like and and that was like the daily mail had this whole quote unquote exclusive about the daring operation yeah. and it was all about trying to make israel look good again and and um, making the world safe for being like that Mm -hmm. like, like like with Netanyahu again yeah. after all of the ICC stuff and it worked not in terms of public opinion but at least in terms of media opinion yeah right and so um I can totally imagine that there are soldiers getting injured and killed to try and for photo ops in service of maintaining this fucking aid pier yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, so so I want to continue on that note. Let's Please continue do. with the Breitbart article. Please do. Please Two do. U.S. sources said commanders are ordering troops to work 12 to 48-hour shifts with very little sleep so that they can move more pallets, which has led to, quote, many accidents, including one service member being, quote, crushed by a forklift. The first U.S. source said it was lack of sleep that led to the service member being run over and crushed by an unlicensed forklift driver during night operations. Uh, and further down, Biden administration officials have revealed little about the injury, uh, with Singh, uh, probably pr pronouncing that wrong, only saying that it was a, quote, non-combat injury that happened on a ship that was far away from the pier. Uh, the re they recently acknowledged that the service member is in critical condition and was recently moved along with his family from a hospital in Israel to the Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio, Texas. According to the U.S. source, the service member is currently brain dead in a coma. Breitbart News reached out to the 7th Transportation Brigade Expeditionary to confirm the service member's injury and status, but did not receive a response. The Pentagon has acknowledged two other service members being injured, calling them, quote, minor injuries. However, the second U.S. source said troops are, quote, being injured daily and not being taken off the mission. Someone just dis dislocated their soldier and is still being forced to work, uh, the source said. Others are getting injuries and are still being ignored because they just want this mission to show as a success. It's a disaster. Yeah. And we have uh, from the Washington Post, um, the uh, none of the food – uh, has has been uh, distributed, yeah. and according to the New York Times, the Pentagon will again sideline its 
well, this is much the same. It's it's not it's not operative. Uh, it's not yeah. operating. Um, it's done nothing. Yeah. It's I mean they the, the the anecdote about cleaning off flour from the truck so that it, it would look good in photographs. Yeah. It's just it's believable. It's believable. It's very but, believable. Yeah. It's so, it's so pathetic that it's believable. Oh, yeah. Only it, yeah. I mean it's just, it's just I mean well I mean hey we're living in we're living in. Uh, a world where the British repair their nuclear submarines with super glue. So I mean, this is completely right. like, and I, it it is just really quite astonishing when you see like the we're seeing the 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 kind of contrast of quote unquote styles where it's like China is just just building shit and yeah. they just keep building shit. Russia is doing the same actually. Like in I mean, in, in we see that Maria Pol, there have been videos have emerged of, of um, uh, huge crowds of people on the beach um, in, yeah. in Maria Pol having, having, a, having a great time of it, you know, like enjoying their summers. Um, and the, 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 a lot of the buildings that were destroyed um, in the, in the first initial phases of the war are now, are now, are now under construction and the, the, it, and versus an inability to build a, a pier. Yeah. Like a, it just, <laughs> a, like, like, like a floating pier on a very small patch of land. And it's just like again, yeah. it's because the skills and the resources and the the uh, the material, like to do this, has just all been outsourced. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, yes, in a world where in a world where um, you're you can't source the um, metal crests <laughs> of your military caps because they're made in China. Of course, there's going to yeah, be like good luck flour building everywhere a, and like <laughs> three hundred million dollar pier or some shit. Yeah. Know? Oh yeah, absolutely. But it's just, I mean, oh, yeah, man. it's it's just. But it, you know, I I I I've, I've said this many times, and it's bad repeating, but like you know, when Operation Prosperity Guardian was launched, there there were a lot of people on um, uh, Twitter who were stating that, oh yeah, like you know, Yemen's about to find out why Americans don't have healthcare, and it's like, yeah, yeah they have found out. It's because appalling amounts of money are spent on absolute rubbish that doesn't yeah. work yeah in, in service of defense one, industry profit i think it's 1.2 trillion dollars projected for to spend on the f-35 which we've been told all the problems were fixed yet they keep crashing yeah i mean but, I, it, but you know you know this is this is the thing as well is that like the the the, the um i think it was the f-11 starfighter sure right that they like I mean, it's just, it's, it's just, it's, I was writing about this years ago because it's just, it was just astonishing to me. So this was, this was a, um, I think it was built by Lockheed Martin and it was introduced in the 1970s. Every single test they did resulted in accidents. Or in, I think there was just one instance where like a plane flew into a house killing uh, the occupants mm -hmm. and it was a US residential home. Yeah. But the pilot luckily survived, <laughs> like, 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 and, and then like they, they, despite the fact they knew this, they brought it to market, yeah. and they forced all of their NATO allies, and they bribed their NATO allies. Yeah. Lockheed Martin execs ended up in um, ended up in court, but then all for bribing heads of governments and stuff to, to buy this plane that didn't work. Um, and they obviously never got in trouble, any faced any justice for it. And in West Germany, they call it the victim maker, which means widow maker, because mm -hmm. killed so many pilots. Right. <laughs> that, like, that, yeah. that, like, and, and there were all of these West German housewives who like sued uh, the government because, and then got huge payouts because their husbands were killed. And it's yeah. like actually the entire time the notion of U.S. military might and and, and Israeli military might as well has been a total illusion mm -hmm. and it's like it, it's it, it's always been about like the, the brutal gang beatings of defenseless people and it's like i i, I, I you can see footage as well from the, the there's a lot of footage of, of the clash of direct clashes between um hamas and like the iof and like you see, clips like there's a huge group of soldiers all standing close to each other not in any formation which is already like well if someone was to just spray bullets at you you're all mm -hmm. dead yeah. but then there's like when one of them gets shot by a sniper and then like collapses on the floor like writhing in pain and screaming yeah. and they just stand there really confused like they don't know what to do right and it's like yeah. i mean like how did how does it not occur to you that right well i need to like evasive maneuvers duck and cover find find sure. shelter yeah. because like we're being clearly being shot at yeah and it's like it, 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 the, the, but even this doesn't really occur to them because for decades they've been just shooting children yeah. in the head for the sake of it from afar yeah like i mean that and that's what their military might has amounted to 
Have you seen their catapults? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> they're, they're not a medieval country. Hey everyone, um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.